Okay, so right now we're in the small town of Joyce, which is on the uh, upper tip of the Noisy Lassie, and we're about to go for a walk to see some nice views. As a native English speaker, I happen to have a habit of calling it Joyce, but it is actually Joyce, <laughs> just to say that, <laughs> put it out there. Documented in the 13th century and located on the slopes of the Latham Mountains, Joyce, as with pretty much every other town here in Burgenland, was once part of Hungary, up until the early 1920s when this area was ceded to Austria. Like many areas around the lake and near the borders of modern-day Hungary, towns like this exhibit noticeable cultural traits that are both unique but also visibly a blend of Austrian and Hungarian. Today, Joyce is highly popular with tourists for its hiking and cycling paths that run through its picturesque countryside fields filled with all sorts of plant and animal wildlife. The municipality of Joyce is also famous for its numerous vineyards and its local wine production, a phenomenon that is rather characteristic in many of the towns and villages surrounding the Noisy Lassie. Another example of how local produce plays a significant role in the local economies around the Noisy Lassie, we can walk over to the neighbouring municipality of Vinden. Okay, so we've now stopped at a local winery. Um, these are the sorts of places you can find pretty much all over the Noisy Lassie and are most famous um, during the, uh, the wine season. Um, one of the most famous drinks you can find over here, as well as wine, is um, grape juice. And I've just ordered a dessert that consists of cake and chocolate and vanilla uh, custard. These small Horrigan restaurants dotted all around the area are often family owned and the food and drinks they offer are for most part sourced from their own produce. As well as contributing to the unique characteristics of the landscape, they also play a significant role in the local cultures of the lake's surrounding areas. Walking through these small towns and villages, you get a feel and taste of the heritage and culture that proudly defines the people living in these areas. Okay, so we're walking near about the banks of the most northerly point of the Noisy Lassie. And if you look across the lake, uh, across the most southerly point of the lake, you will see um, the, uh, the borders of Hungary. The seasonal climate and geography of the modern municipalities surrounding the Noisy Lassie have played a significant role in the inhabitants of these areas from antiquity to present day. And it's important to note, these small towns each have a long story to tell, the small municipalities of Joyce and Vinden, for example, have a Neolithic and Roman past. But more notably, and recognisably, they exhibit artefacts from the late medieval and early modern periods. Hiking around the municipalities of Joyce and Vinden can be demanding on a hot day, especially if you're carrying a young one on your back. However, this area of Burgenland is relatively flat compared to many other places in Austria, and a walk here is well worth the visuals of the beautiful scenery and a way of absorbing the unique local culture. If you enjoyed this video, please click the like button and subscribe to our channel.